stop. Don't go near it. So, you are reduced to feeding on flesh and bone, Mantarok. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. It is now your destiny to fight the eternal darkness. I give you a gift in return for an obligation. The gift is your life, sweet dancer. The obligation is this. You hold one of Mantarok's hearts. The essence of a corpse god. To some it is a source of great power. From those people, you must defend it, lest they use it to destroy what little brightness your world has left in it. Guard it well. Ask 
ask again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors <coughs> of oblivion. <coughs> Your presence is welcomed, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both, then. He lies. As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Ulioth, Shaturka. Should they unite with Mantarok, they will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark, the others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarok will be bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. Certain to retrieve Mandrock's essence, it is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one, then the other. Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. <laughs> <laughs> 